Kaboom. That's what happened. The double barrel of hashish oil exploded over all the aristocratic gas of their landlord, Falcon. Not only that, it started his castle on fire and burned it all down. You know, just a little mud and straw sticking out the side. That's when Hashishan shouted to his entourage, Head for the Caspian Sea! We gotta get out of here fast. Yeah, so these bad boys... Uh, yeah, they, they, they make it up to the Caspian Sea coast and uh, cause trouble. <laughs> In Gorgon, Babu, Karamabad, <laughs> uh, smoking lots of hookahs, and, um, you know, cutting through the veil. If they could find a, cut a fun-loving woman out of the pack for a while. Well, Sunrise finds them exhausted around a samovar <laughs> from Samarkand, boiling exotic teas, lounging around a samovar, hangover breakfast of flatbread and pilaf. Yeah. Uh, that's where they run into the four muleteers of Karamabad. Who? Oh, uh, four muleteers, yeah, um, they're smugglers of rice. They smuggle black market rice that comes off the ships in Karamabad in the Caspian Sea, and they run it through to back ways to God's Inn, to the black market, where the tax collectors of Shah Mulak can't get their hands on them. Yeah, four muleteers, they're ever vigilant to make, like, a windfall profit. Uh, uh, yeah, oh, newcomers coming along the coastal strip, what's up with that? What's up with Hashishan? Wow, he's dressed so elo eloquently and richly in his, his boys. Uh, his young followers are so wealthy and slob and <laughs> educated. Yeah, uh, red-bearded muleteers, Aziz, Ashmil. Uh, Musa, Abbas, red henned beard, <laughs> beak noses. Uh, they tell Hashishan <clears throat> about a secret valley on the other side of the Shalambar Pass uh, that is ripe for a kingdom. Mm hmm. And that he could grow marijuana or what, what's that? Uh, hashish or whatever. We could transport it all the way to the uh, God's Vin, the back way, and all become so wealthy. Like where they are now, they're in Karama, but on the coast. It's about a four day walk into the interior of the Lost Valley of Alamod, and then another four day. A walk to God's wind. So it's an eight-day mule train. That's their route. And they know everything about the territory. In between. Oh, yeah. Um, Ishmael fires up the hookah. This is a big hookah. He just stand up to smoke it. Oh. And passes the slinky cord to uh, Hashishan Ib Seba, who sucks on it appreciatively. Yeah, uh, Musa explains that in the Lost Valley, over the shallow park pass, uh, the peasants would be eager to defend uh, a rock fortress. You heard about rock fortresses? <laughs> and uh, if Hashishan, you know, he's a smarty guy. He's from the university. If like an urban <laughs> guy uh, would like organize the peasants back there uh, into raiding parties, they'd drag back plunder, <laughs> herd it back. Uh, yeah. Um, they got kids to feed, donkeys to feed. 
no camels in there. It's too tough in there for camels. Yeah. Um, yeah. For for hip Gosvenites like you guys, you know, uh, uh, private empire is right for the plugging. So she'll put your hand up and reach up and, <laughs> you know. Uh, all you need is a guide to get in there. <clears throat> like me. Oh, and my three friends, they, they might be first cousins. I'm not sure. We, you know, we were born on pirate ships. Uh, mom, dad, who's your daddy? Uh, but anyway, uh, <clears throat> yeah, the, the four of us were just... Ashishan likes what he hears. From the four muleteers of Black Market Rice from Come Rada Bay. We. Um, yeah. Hmm. Sounds good. Uh, and thus it was written in 1069 AD. Somebody wrote it down. Uh, why? It's because that's when Hashishan and his followers are guided into the interior by the four muleteers of of Caspian Rice. Secret back road to Gazvin. Are we all on board here? Going up to Shalombar. Dangerous flinty track it is, huh? At Shalombar. Wind dwarf dunipers. Mm. That's a daunting summit, huh? Well, we better celebrate, huh? Hashishan reckon. So they have, uh, they unsaddle their uh, mules. Uh, they've traded in their camels for mules because yeah, they're just being stored by a uh, second cousins removed <clears throat> somewhere off a pirate ship. And they unsaddle their concerns at the hookah. Resting huts on the top. And they blast off. <laughs> 11th century Persia blasting off. An exquisite hookahs. To enjoy the view. Because this is the first time you can see really down into the secret valley, the Valley of Alamut. Boy, and Ahashishan likes what he sees. is a head rush. From the hash, it gazes down. Green Valley, abundant cornfield. Wow, flower crazed meadows, graced by hedges of hawthorn. Yeah, Caspian Sea, Mule, Kavansari, and everybody's welcome to come along for the ride. Uh, trekking through villages. These are not on any Persian map. They're so remote. Garmud. Zavarak. That you never heard of. <laughs> Zavarak. Shutukhan. Oh. Black oxen plowing rice fields beside rushing mountain rivers. Banks luxuriant with... Uh, Wow, these are must be centuries old. Sycamore trees, mulberry trees, and uh, well, uh, they've been they've been mule training for four days. They're home for now in Shooter Khan. <laughs> if you had the book, you'd know where you were. Shooter Khan. Yeah, four days from Karamabad, and then you'd have to go another four days to get to Gazvin, the fabulous oasis of Gazvin. Look, Aziz, look, old man, you want it to be far out. You are far out. <laughs> uh, this is as far as it gets out here in the backwoods, and uh, there's something three kilometers north of here. Keep, keep your mule saddled up because we want to show you something. 
this time we got uh like our minds blown in this story kind of a wake up <laughs> wow moment well here it comes uh yeah uh how she sounds is feeling more and more <laughs> like he's getting closer to his home she's riding his mule up next to the uh, kaiser Khan river and then that's when everybody's neck goes up. Wow. Wow. 600 feet. <laughs> 200 meters. Vertical rock madness. Insane rock. Uh, the baddest rock in Persia, in Hashishan, straight out of the box, you know, he's going to name it something like, <laughs> what? The rock? Well, <clears throat> yeah, and it is a beaut. <sighs> Whew, oh, uh, merciless granite. <laughs> Precipice straight up, crowned by a flat. And what? Unusually fertile, grassy plateau is the summit ideal for growing carrots? Short season, but asparagus? <laughs> 